Hey guys, Kid Guru here, Laker Cool Man, and smack dab in the middle of the Apple logo, if you can see here. I have a, I want to talk about this app today. I guess it's an app of the day, my review, and show it to you guys. It's called Alert Thingy. Now, I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't, it's built off Adobe Air, which is a, you know, uh, Adobe's new thing that just brought forth a whole bunch of new apps that are really, really great, guys. Uh, examples, Twirl, Clock, uh, just, you know, huge amount. Now, Alert Thingy is something I just got, and it's really, really great. I've been using it for a while. Um... Where is it, you know, a few bugs, obviously, because uh, it's not, you know, huge companies always manning these things. It may be, like, one person or, you know, a team. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to show it off to you. It's actually a friend feed client, so it opens up in your tray right here. And it's, uh, you know, it has that Adobe Air type of look, if you know what I mean, if you ever use an Adobe Air client. Uh, you know, this one actually has transparency, if you can see there. So, basically, it's for friend feed, and if you don't know what friend feed is, uh, I'm just going to go to my friend feed real quick, and this is where you install it, alert thingy, uh, and it has now Twitter deduping. <laughs> so, it's a really, really neat interface, and I'm going to go to friendfeed.com, and if you want to follow me on friend feed, feel free to add me, and I'll add you as well. It's uh, friendfeed.com slash kidguru, I believe, that's the link. So, basically, it uh, shows... Uh, a huge, uh, if you're following people, array of things that you can uh, add to their networks. If you have a Twitter, a Flickr, as you see here, uh, Duncan or Mobile Phone 2003 posted a Flickr photos. So right there, it shows and he posted what I, it shows what I posted on Twitter RSS feeds. So I can say share something. I can say your say import your stuff. I'll do a video probably on uh, friend feed later on. But right here, it shows all the things I'm sharing, and there's a 43 services, so plenty to choose from, guys. Plenty, plenty, including Google Reader. You can add your own blog URL in there, uh, your own RSS feed, whatever. And basically, it takes out all of that and imports it to a desktop client. So here, if I click on alerts, I chose mine to show all my Twitter updates, so everybody I'm following it shows. Scroll down more. Here, it shows that we're mobile phone post of that Flickr photo. I can comment it, like it, you know, reply to a Twitter post, whatever it may be. Not only that, I can, if I go back, actually, here. If I go here, I can, you know, just go through all my history of stuff that's been uploaded to friend feed. I can share stuff out. I can give tweet, tw a text, links. I can drag, a dro drag or drop an image right here. Uh, and it'll just, you know, upload it. Uh, tweet. So this also replaces Twitter, like, Twitter apps, like Twirl, stuff like that. I still personally love Twirl. It's just been buggy for me lately, so I switched over to alert thingy for now. Um, it's really, really great, guys. Uh, just, you know, your, like, your basic thing. You can show all your Twitter you can just show your Twitter post, your twi your friends, and your personal Twitter post. So, you know, stuff like that. So, um, if I go over to Flickr, like again, you can just upload all your Flickr stuff through here. And you can, I'm sure there's a way to single out your Twitter post. Like, uh, I'm sure, that I think they're working on it in the newest build. Tiny URLs included. So, if you want to, what do you call that? Enter a, you know, a URL that's too long for Twitter or whatever, you can shorten it down here. You can search. Um, so, basically, anywhere you click, if you're sharing something, you're tweeting something, it's going to give you a dialog box right here, and on the bottom it's going to show you your friend feed status. So, um, it's really, really great, guys. Check it out. The settings are fully customizable. You can show, oh, pick from a good array of themes. I just like black translucent because it matches my theme. And a lot of people have been asking what my theme is. It's actually a Slan XP4. You need to get a UX theme patcher. So, again, that's Slan XP4. And you're going to need your remote key, which is basically something you need to get from your uh, friend feed. Just click it, and it'll take you to your account. You can put the ref uh, remote key, basically, that gives permission for an app or whatever to remotely connect to your friend feed account. So, yeah, guys, this is Alert Thingy. Again, built off the Adobe Air client. So, um, feel free to check it out, guys. It was designed and developed by Howard Baines. Good, pro uh, you know, huge props to him. Uh, there's, it is still, you know, buggy here and there. The interface isn't so neat as in terms of organization. So, um, you know, I'm sure it'll be coming up in the future updates. Anyhow, guys, this is Kid Guru signing off here. Um, don't forget to check out the website at adrianstech.com and email me at adrianstech at gmail.com concerning any questions, video requests, anything like that. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Alert Thingy. All the links will be in the video description. And that's the sound for Alert Thingy. Anyhow, it does update you in play sounds. Forgot to mention that. Anyhow, now I'm signing off. Guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.